Hello, today we are going to talk about my favorite knitting tools. First off is having a book that I write down details like foot sizes or hat sizes, little details that I did for past projects. I also use a journal to keep track of current projects and I use these all the time. Okay, next up is my ruler collection. I don't even think I fully understood how many rulers I had until I pulled them out to do this video, but I always have a small one that fits into my little bag. I have one that I can wrap around, like say the circumference of a head or a foot. That one I don't necessarily carry around with me as much. And then I got this cool one for measuring socks that I do also keep in my little baggie that goes with me everywhere. This one's really cool because it literally rolls up, which is quite useful. It's like a slap bracelet, honestly, which is kind of funny. And then I also like that this one has the sizes on it, which is very helpful and totally just fits in my little pouch with my other ruler. Okay, but here's actually my favorite way of measuring my socks, just a nice solid ruler. I, I don't know why, I feel like because it pulls the sock kind of just nice and not tight, but I guess tight, it, I don't know, I always feel like it measures more accurately. So this is actually my favorite way of measuring socks. Okay, and now for what's in my little baggie. I have a tin of stitch markers and I utilize this moment to have a really cute tin because I like tins, so this gives me an excuse to have a cute one. Normally I can get quite a few stitch markers in this tin, which is great. And I got this one from Lucy Locket Land. All right, what else is in my bag? Well, I always have a couple crochet hooks and I always like to have that. I mean, you've seen me use them this month. I also just keep the stuff I need to make socks all the time in my pouch that comes around with me. So <laughs> those double point needles are always in there, but that's actually not how I organize my knitting needles. I will show you guys those in a little bit. I always have my scissors and a needle to weave in my ends. And that is, that's like always the thing that comes, those, those scissors are like, they're like my favorite thing. And yes, I do use those little scraps of yarn to do things. Okay, and now for my project bag. I love this little one. It is basically the perfect size to put a cake of yarn in and uh, you know, whatever sock I'm working on or smaller project. Um, I just really like just the way it is. And I only have a couple of project bags, but this is definitely my favorite. Okay, for the way that I organize my knitting needles is I use these little pouches, which you've seen one that I keep all my little extra things that come around with me. But I also was trying to find a good way of organizing the circular needles that I love using. So I found that just having a bunch of these little pouches and then writing what size they are on them has worked really well for me. And I like it because I can have extra sets of certain sizes if I want to, or, you know, just whatever I need, it works and has fit very well in these pouches. And of course, my ball winder. I love this thing. And the, of course, the other part of the ball winder is great too. All right, guys, these are my main tools. These are all my little extra things some of them very necessary for knitting some of them are like oh a little extra step a lot of it also is just the organizational side of my knitting life and how it just makes everything so much easier and that pouch that i keep referring to literally comes with me like almost everywhere i do sometimes like if i'm just driving around in the car i won't bring it with me i'll just grab like scissors and a, weave, a needle to weave in the ends with the projects but if I'm traveling or anything anything for an extended period of time that pouch comes with me 
Okay, guys, that's it.